Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we celebrate all the things we do while seated. I'm your host, E, here with my co-host, Chad Lutsky. We are currently writing a novel together and allowing you guys to watch it. Um, I've also started posting the VODs to the channel because some people don't like watching for some odd reason. I guess maybe because it doesn't show up in the uh, in the video list. I've started posting the VODs for people who don't like watching or can't find the lives to actually watch them afterward. Uh, so one of those went uh, live today and they'll be going live basically every other day as long as we're doing them. Uh, and also, Chad, I wanted to offer to you, if you want them also, I'll send them over to you in a Dropbox and you can post them on your own channel or wherever you like if you want oh, to okay. do that. Um, I did the same thing with Mr. Doyle of Great Undertaking. I sent him the raw file and you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Okay. Uh, that way that, you know, people can find us right as, as much as possible, that kind of thing, because mm -hmm. I don't have a full crossover. Not everyone who follows me follows you and vice versa. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so what we're doing today. Um, hello. The people that if you put in. if you put my link in the bottom maybe maybe they would follow me God damn it man yeah i've been meaning to do that also i'm uh i did the the thumbnails but i forgot to add them to these live videos um but yeah i know you need to shoot me like uh when we're done or whatever or if you want to do it right now um shoot me a link of everything you want down in the description and i'll go back and retroactively add it to, to all of them i don't know if you want your twitter if you want a uh, bleeding page or any of any of that stuff uh, whatever you want to promote, I'll, I'll share down there. But today, uh, what we're doing is I am going to be writing and oh, I'm clicked on the wrong one. No more. OK, now I see it. I was on private chat with Chad. Uh, morning, Viking. Morning, Brad. Uh, how y'all doing? Um, I'm going to be writing and Chad is if I understood correctly, he wants to go back and try to layer like instant revisions as we're going along. Is that correct? Yeah. So that's what we'll do, um, and I'll be I'll be sharing my screen so you guys can see uh, everything that I'm doing. Also, one thing that I was talking to Chad about. Uh, let me go ahead and share this screen. Da, 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 da. I always forget how to do this. Right there. Present. I'll be right back. All right. Morning, Derek. Okay, so if you guys can can see it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is what I wrote. I'm gonna I'm about to read it to you, so don't worry about it. But I'm gonna tell you the problems up front, so you guys can see the problems that I see. Uh, that I was reading along. Of course, our main character is a 15 year old boy. Uh, is, I don't know if we're gonna have him be a reader or whatnot. Um, what what his hobbies are? I haven't really got to that. Um, but I think this is way too overwritten for the mind of a uh, of a 15 year old, especially, you know, things like uh, moonlighting as an entomologist wet dream. I need a simpler way to get across the same thing. And then there's a the part where there's a cockroach stuck in the peanut butter coating the spoon and dangles from the side like a mountain climber writhing languidly. Uh, the writhing languidly doesn't work for a 15 year old, I don't think, either. So I need to do some work getting the. Uh, getting the voice right uh and also at the same time being able to you know get enough as we're shooting for 65 to 70 thousand words for the publishers that we're looking at um and yeah uh chad stuff is usually around what between 20 and 30 normally yep yep yeah and my stuff is normally between 50 and 70 uh like the stuff um the, the under the lorne name of course all the, everything i write nowadays seems to be over a hundred thousand words but i guess that's because i like reading my own thoughts <laughs> i don't know why i've gotten wordier as i've gotten older um okay sorry is telling me i was currently signed in under this account i'm like duh i know i am all right so the sinks the science experiment moonlighting is ugh. i think i can just get rid of all that the sinks of science experiment. Plates fuzzy with mold scattered in both basins. A spoon stands on end in one corner. A cockroach stuck in the peanut butter. Yeah, just get rid of that. A cockroach stuck in the peanut butter dangles from the side like a mountain climber. I'd just do twitching. Head flies float 
in a faded and scratched cool whip container, their bodies drifting across the gray water that smells vaguely of Hidden Valley. <laughs> Ooh, but and I, so many, so many days growing up, I had to wash out uh, faded and scratched cool whip containers with my mom would do like uh, both me and my mom would have cucumber salads. And of course, we use way too much ranch dressing. So, uh, yeah. I, and of course, with a cool whip container, it's, it's super hard to get anything oily off of plastic. So they all, and we didn't have any other bowls. So it was, it, they always just kind of faintly reeked of, of ranch dressing. Uh, oh, dude, I, I can relate. I have an 18 year old kid who lives yeah. in the basement, loves ranch, <laughs> uh, also loves hoarding dishes uh, mm. in his room. Always pours too much rinse. So when he does decide that he wants to bring up his <clears throat> very off-white, uh, almost yellow, uh, uh, what, uh, coagulated uh, yeah. plates, then, uh, yeah, I, I know that smell very well. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing that's even come close to it, uh, that, that certain dishwater smell, is uh, Jen Bernardini sent me a case of Lester's Fixins the sodas that you that novelty sodas you're not really supposed to drink it's like buffalo flavored corn flavored uh and then ranch and that soda no. literally tasted like dishwater like like ranch dishwater smell it was Ugh. absolutely disgusting man i could i could barely get it down is it carbon it. carbonated yeah fully oh. carbonated fully like car fully carbonated ranch dressing dishwater it was the nastiest thing in the entire in the entire thing and bacon was pretty bad but all bacon was was a smoke uh liquid smoke uh in carbonated water that's all it was with sugar um so that was that that was pretty off-putting but uh no, none of them were as bad as the ranch all right so uh someone's smashed a moth on the rim of the sink the halo of dust around its corpse reminds me of the stuff my family vacuums up their noses. I don't mind that so much. Uh, it's my day to do that. I think it gets better after this. Um, and I kind of sink back into back into the voice. Um, that first one was way too, yeah, the, too many, too many fancy words. Uh, it's yeah, my day to do I dishes, agree. which means I have to do a, a week's worth. No one else does them on their days. Six people in one double wide make a hell of a mess, especially when I'm the only person who cleans up. Cassidy tries to help, but he's nine. He can reach the sink fine, yet never seems to get the dishes completely clean. The last time he tried, I found a cricket leg plastered to the underside of a ceramic plate. He means well, while everyone else who lives here is just mean. I like that line. I don't I don't know why. Which line? I don't like the mean part because that's telling instead of and we've already been showing. I know, but I like that. Like he means well. Well, it's just I almost said well and mean, but ah, kill your darlings, kill your darlings. I could just put he means well, but I just leave it. I'll just leave I, it. I, no, I meant I don't like the part of everyone else is just mean. Okay, so just leave the he means well. Yeah. Because you know what I mean. Because every we know everybody is an a hole here. Or at least we're we're starting to learn that everyone is an a hole. Also, um, at the end, I tacked on the <clears throat> the part where he confronts his uncle. Like, don't call him Cassie. It's a girl's name. He doesn't right. like it. I, I I read that last time. Um, I thought maybe I this would be like a like he usually doesn't talk like this. This is he's he's kind of like this is him. Kind of I've had enough. So I didn't want to paint this picture that this is just him all the time. It's just like, uh, yeah, kind of. That's why it kind of shocks his uncle. He's like, because he usually doesn't. He's not like this confrontational. He did, he's like, I don't want him going out to steal. Stop calling him Cassie, and we could we could um, kind of maybe uh, write some stuff in there that kind of reflects that, um, you know, that to show that he this isn't normally him. Yeah, but he's he has had enough. I, whatever and then and i thought maybe you know if you wanted maybe we could have because we don't uh we don't want uh, man what's our guy's name shane shane doesn't want uh cassidy to to do the stealing so right worst case scenario maybe he's going to follow him and so we we get to see what cassidy's doing but because it's first person um because uh cassidy says he's, he can go out and get pizza 
nobody wants pizza. Right. But yeah, I thought maybe we could follow him to yeah. add more to this whole like um, relationship between the two and show uh, more about um, what's his name, Cassidy. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Just trying to get back into the voice before we jump into this. We could maybe even have Cassidy do, or not Cassidy, Shane do something to, un, unbeknownst to Cassidy, because Cassidy thinks he's some kind of ninja. We could have, <laughs> we could have Shane do something um, that Cassidy doesn't realize just saved his butt, like distracting the clerk, whatever. Like maybe he doesn't even know he's in the store with him. Um, and Shane, oh, yeah. doesn't, Shane doesn't like doing the whole thing because he doesn't like the stealing in the first place, whether he gets caught or not. He's just, right. don't, I don't like this. Um, we could have him where he's behind like a, a poster, like in the window, like he's over mm -hmm. on the side, kind of off, off to the side. And he's able to look in between like the poster and the frame of the window, mm -hmm. he's able to watch. And he sees the cashier go for like, start to walk out to see Cassidy because Cassidy's the only person in there. So we can have, then have Shane grab a rock or something and kind of step back and chuck it at the window. I was, um, dude, I was just going to say, let's have yeah. him pick up a rock and smash the one of the windows. With... We're, we're, we're on the same page then. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. All right. Um, stack the dishes. I'm over here just, just trying to see if I got the rest of this right. I stack the dishes to the left of the sink and run fresh water. We're out of generic dish soap, but we have the hand soap Cassidy stole from the Burger King on second. Three skirts, squirts seem like a lot, but isn't. And I barely get that because the bottle is empty all that's left in the tube attached all that's left is the tube is in the tube attached to the pump all that's left is in the tube attached to the pump okay that's just my brain that's not a bad sentence all right uncle travis slides up beside me as i turn off the tap and dumps his coffee into my fresh dishwater the brown liquid slips through the cloud of suds and disappears underneath leaving a fine speckling of grounds dotting the suds like black stars in a white night uh hang on here suds twice i don't even know what the fuck else to call it other than suds um my right eye twitches i don't know if i'm going to use that or not but i, I kind of like that as a subtle you know just like fuck hurry up with that is all uncle travis says before spinning away he's in a good mood today and i don't want to ruin it yeah i was thinking this could be the chapter after uh after he snags the dope um yeah. so you want to continue with the first chapter and we want that all the play out with him following Cassidy out to uh, um, out to the wherever gas station or whatever he's about to go rob. Or yeah, maybe by the time they get home, the uncle's gone. Right. Because and he's then, doing his thing. And then he comes pulling up and whatnot. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, music, some kiss blaring in his truck or something as he, <laughs> he comes rolling up. Love gun just blasting from his shitty speakers. Mm. Found your lighter, dipshit. Yeah. I like Aunt Rita already. I mean, I don't like her, but I like the character. All right. Screen door opens and the corner of his mouth curls. I can see the black spot where a tooth uh, once was. I made that. But I'm going to have to change this other one because I have both of his, like, both canines missing. It could just be a, well, if it's a, yeah, corner of his mouth curls. Never mind. Just one. The, unc the corner of the uncle's mouth. Oh, uncle's mouth. Okay. Um, I see we can layer that. All right, I'm going to go up the top of this and see. If... All right. Now, any changes that I make, I've got no problem doing this if you want me to. Do you want me to highlight anything? No, um, so every, through and... you know, everyone I've worked with, we've just kind of trusted each other. Um, and okay. the, the, another thing is you can learn this quick about me. You're, well, you're going to learn it right now. Um, I rewrite so much while I'm going. I don't even remember what I wrote to begin with. So mm -hmm. I'm not even going to notice unless something sounds off to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not even going to notice. And I probably won't even notice whether or not you went back and rewrote something or if it's my original thing that i wrote so okay. uh my memory is terrible when it comes to this stuff and i have no problem getting rid of uh anything that i have in there 
in fact, I was worried about you as far as I was concerned, because I was going back and adding some stuff and tweaking some stuff like the uh, baby filled belly or whatever that I changed to a uh, massive belly bump or whatever I did. Mm -hmm. um, so I were I was worried about that kind of thing, too. I didn't want to touch too much of your stuff. I just wanted to add to it. Found your lighter, dear shit. <clears throat> I need to go back and read a little bit more of what you said, Cassie. First, or present tense, present tense. Yeah. <laughs> My gray fabric aches.
convenience. I knew it. I knew I was going to spell it wrong. I knew I was going to spell it wrong. Fuck you, Google Docs, for correcting me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
Hell.
Ooh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a great idea. He's got, he still has all the gravel from home in his pocket. So I need to go back and add that he slides it into his pocket before he goes to uh, follow Cassidy. And that way he doesn't have to go find something. He already has the gravel in his pocket to throw at the window. You think, that, <clears throat> think that's <clears throat> think that's enough to smash the window? Well, not smash. I was just trying to get, you know, s- some attention. But if you want no, him to smash it, man, I can I can definitely have him yank a piece of the cinder block wall. <laughs> that, that I was thinking had. I was thinking because it's so last minute and it kind of shows uh it almost makes like like uh, for for I think for your average person, smashing a gas station window is kind of a huge deal. Mm-hmm. But for him and just the situation he's in, it's it's another Tuesday, you okay. know. So it's it's not not to say that this is his thing that he does this kind of thing. It's just like last minute, I got to do something. He's gonna get busted. Screw it. I'm freaking grabbing this this yeah. whatever it is out here, and I'm chucking it, and yeah. it happens to smash this whole poster you know or what you know cool right. cigarettes ad or stand yeah. up sandy or um, whatever i'll do that but i can even like this is where the lengthening comes in like i can pull it i can stretch it out as taut as possible like i can have him start with like the smaller gravel and it's just not doing anything it's not getting dude's attention and he's slowly moving toward cassidy at the back of the store so finally he like looks down sees that maybe you know those uh those curbs that stop cars you know the you know what i'm talking about i don't yeah. even know what they're called the concrete like those get you especially in lower income areas those things just crumble for whatever reason i can have them okay. grab a piece of that and chuck it and shatter the um and shatter the window so i can draw that out okay that would definitely put some because i've already put quite a bit oh never mind i've only done one page <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding a lot to what I've already written, so I am just going ahead and I'm highlighting what I wrote. If you want, if you wanted to, uh, I got you. Yeah, I, I'm fattening up things that are written quite a lot, and I'm putting some emphasis on uh, the relationship he had is with his mother because we haven't really right touched on that, and it just and with the whole and bringing the whole sound thing more into into it. You'll see. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go back and read it once I'm done. Um, uh, I think I need to take a break. I'm at, I know exactly what I'm going to write next. I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, five or 10 minutes, go use the restroom and get up and walk around then come back, probably write for at least another hour. All right. I'll see if anybody's in here. What's the chat? Yeah. Sean's here. Up, Sean. Uh, a couple different people. I think they're all writing along with us, which is awesome. Yeah. Anywho, muting. Brad, don't know if you're here still, but looking forward to hanging out with you tomorrow, right? Tomorrow night at 8, you and Hamelin and uh, Mr. J. I think this is where the ball really starts rolling with the <clears throat> the writing. Yeah, he writes so much faster than I do, but he 
again, he just spills it out. I take away too much time considering uh, the first draft, considering the, my sentences, even though I end up fixing uh, some of them later. Blue, good morning. It's good to see you here, man. He's taking a break, a restroom break, and we are just, uh, I'm fattening up some stuff I wrote yesterday and going, going to go behind him and revise some stuff that he's writing if it needs revision. So I'm, I'm sure it, it does. It's just a first draft. Because for those who don't already know, this is a coming of age, uh, kind of grit lit um, carnival road trip, um, crime thriller, sort of, I guess, with uh, stolen drugs, potentially finding love, heartache. Tentatively called uh, Planet Caravan. We'll see if that sticks. Anyone has a question, now's a good time, I guess. <clears throat> Unless it's a question for E, which in case this is a horrible time. Unless you want to just speak to the chair.
Baga Queen, good morning. Awesome. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. What do you what exactly are you working on in the garden? Blue asks, is it more difficult writing when the audience are writing a little dude? Absolutely. Yes. Do you feel like it's hindering you any in, in any way? Um <clears throat> Yesterday, or not that yesterday, the day before, I was the first one to write. Um, to to write the first, uh, I don't know how many hundred words, but that was a little nerve wracking because I I we're trying to get as much of this on video as possible, so I didn't have any kind of idea of how I would start it, and I've never written in front of somebody before. I've written where people could see my face, but not actually what I'm typing. So that was a little nerve wracking. Um, and it did, I, I would say it, it did hinder a little bit. Um, but then I muted E and just kind of ignored everybody for a while. It got some writing in. But yeah, it's definitely, it is more difficult. Today isn't because they're watching E and I'm just kind of, adding to what I wrote yesterday and uh, going to be, you know, potentially revising little bits here and there of, of what he has done. So I'm not quite as under the spotlight as he is today, which makes me, uh, he's used to it. I am not. And we, but we, he, he has more of a, uh, like a kind of diarrhea word, diarrhea thing that he does where I do, uh, I do a, a very clean first draft. So he writes way faster than I do. Uh, OMG, just found a butterfly chrysalis hanging on a green bean plant. <clears throat> That's awesome. That Hallmark movie you brought up on Final Guys I might to be watched, Chad. Uh, I'll probably wait till 2B picks it up. Yeah. All right, Sean. What can I say, man? I dug it. Uh, didn't have a lot to bring to the table last Tuesday, so what the heck? Hey, Blue. Is it more I, writing? I will be watching writing well. alone. Um, do you feel like it's hindering you in any way? Not, not me. But I can, I can see how some people. Um, I think uh, Chad said it was a little anxiety-inducing the first time. But, yeah, I just answered. Okay. <clears throat> How you doing, Blue? Uh, let's see here. Where you been shopping for books around here now that Books a Million's closed and trading books is gone? I'm about to get back into this, but I want to see where you've been getting your swag loot from. I'll tell you where I've been, dude. Ever since you told me about Book Outlet, mm. dude, I've 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 made three orders, about forty <laughs> bucks, forty bucks a piece, maybe. But uh, it's it's great though because I am, uh, I'm not on Amazon, so I'm not being recommended anything, and mm. I'm finding uh, stuff that m almost everything I bought, with the exception of like maybe flowers in the attic and something else, has been like just. Oh, I love that cover. I can tell that that's my kind of thing. And uh, I, I'm not a big synopsis guy, but I have been kind of, you know, you know, just kind of like uh, reading parts of the synopsis, just kind of like skimming through a few of them. And I've got a, a lot of books. Yeah, probably like maybe 15 to 20 of them in the past since you mentioned it. Yeah. Mostly online. I hate having a good place to browse nearby. Yeah, me too. Um, but I've been doing the same thing Chad's been doing, which is book outlet. Um, and what I'm finding over there is I have a huge list over on Amazon, uh, all dating all the way back to like 2017. Um, and it's all the books that I'm on the fence about. And I found every single one of them They're They're all like, you know, over $10 on Amazon. You go over to book outlet and I found every single one of the ones that I've been on the fence about for like, you know, anywhere between three ninety nine and six ninety nine. So yeah, I've done five orders. Also, I had a friend that kept sending me gift cards 
for over there. Um, the first three were all gift cards. And then my fourth order that I did a book haul for, and that wasn't live, uh, that one I bought with all the points that I had racked up um, using the gift cards. So all I had to do was pay for shipping. If you if you want to find tax. <clears throat> Uh, where is it? Well, that's cool, Blue. Oh, DJ Books. I also been hit. I hit uh, that DJ Books. I can't remember who who turned me on to that. Was it you, or did I tell you about it? VGA Books. No, VG VJ Books. VJ Books. I don't think you've even told me. About no, it was it was Jeff Terry who told okay. me about that. It's uh ton of signed books for cheap um i got a first edition hardcover of freezer burn for 15 dollars. Sign, signed lansdale holy shit yeah they got a bunch of stuff um vj books the jj books yeah the wrong kind of bookstore <laughs> wrong kind of bookstore <laughs> uh all right i got a bookmark oh oh Ooh, Black Friday in July. How are you doing? Yeah, I'll check that out later. We got we got work to do. This is not a book buying stream, damn it. Nope, got distracted. <clears throat> Thanks, Blue. Yeah, shame on you, Blue. Distracting me.
Hey, hey. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just thinking. I, I just noticed you started writing the curve thing. What do you think sounds? What do you think sounds best? The uh, a piece of curb, like a big smashing the entire window, or mm -hmm. like a glass bottle? Because this is eighty nine, so I'll, I'll, or a glass bottle that shatters but spider webs. Yeah, the window. I, we can do that. Yeah, let me. Uh, da, 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 da. Like something that's got just some swill with a cigarette butt in the bottom of it that's sitting on the yeah, like the gas pump. Is, is this this is a convenience store, right? Not a gas station. Yeah, it's it's like what I was okay. talking about yesterday, like a like a liquor store, but it has grocery okay. items and things. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna can... put. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna keep what I got, but I'm gonna put the bottle in between, like the laying beside it. Like he can just just to add a little more there. Like he has a choice to make between the bottle and the whatever okay um and if you don't like it we can change it later but <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to make it a Zima bottle. I've seen more Zima bottles out front of stores than I have beer bottles. Anyways, um, at least where I grew up. Uh, for some odd reason, people throw them shits everywhere. Um, plus, it's clear, so he'll be able to see the cigarette floating inside.
Okay. Why can't I type sync today? I've typed inks. I've, tri I've typed wink. <laughs> Get the fucking word right to say. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk. You've been chunking it up for real. Look at you go. Holy shit. I'll dig it. I'll read it here in a second. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here.
how do I want to say this? bother me that I don't have this okay there we go
Alright. Hey, Jimmy. <clears throat> Did they have those magnetic door locks back in the day to trap him inside by pushing a button, stop the cousin getting out? No, they didn't. I know <clears throat> I shoplifted a lot back then, and none of the stores that I went into had those. And we're we're working uh, at uh, we're working in eighty nine is the uh, assumed uh, the assumed year. So uh, while they might have existed back then, most of the liquor stores I shoplifted at didn't have them. I'm back. My wife uh, was facetiming me. Yeah, I, I saw your comment. Um, I'm good for now with what I've written. Uh, I need to go back and read what you've what you've layered. See all this. We got a nice chunky chapter. A yeah. very nice chunky chapter. And I was thinking about a scene maybe in the next or even the next one. Uh, I don't know if you're cool with this or not, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw it on the table anyways. What if the liquor store guy called the cops about the broken window, as of course he would, and he actually has like CCTV footage of Shane, but not Cassidy. Uh, let's say he's got, I, I don't know, for whatever reason, they specifically knows about Shane. The, the cops that pop up know specifically about Shane because let's say they were the one who brought him over to live with the aunt and uncle or whatever, and they know his face from the camera. They they show up, which causes... Uh, he somehow they end up leaving without taking Shane and I don't know how we can get to that part, but it'd be kind of an, to instigate uh, maybe an abusive situation with his uncle or something that would spur him to go ahead and just get, take the Coke and get the fuck out. I don't, I don't know. It's just an idea. I'm trying to think of a catalyst for the, the final, the final straw. You know, the straw that breaks Shane's back kind of. Mm -hmm. um, well, I figured you know, that would be bringing, bringing that kilo of cocaine into the house. And, I, and the fact that he is, um, he meets this girl who's like, basically, I've been in a similar situation. I freaking bailed. And he looks at, you know, this carnival thing is just like, because he's never been to one. He's like, right. this is, I, I, this is, I like, I love this. Okay. I love this feeling. Um and I, I remember, I remember that part. But getting him to the carnival to begin with, I'm trying to just naturally. I mean, because they're broke, they obviously. Well, uh, we were going to use. Sorry, you're all right. You're all right. One second, man. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Jimmy. But uh. It, Chad's right. He wanted to use the catalyst being, you know, meeting Shenna and kind of falling for her on the spot. Just the idea of the carnival and everything. Um, and I love that idea. Um, but I guess I'm thinking too much about how we would actually get him to the carnival. Like, what would be the... Maybe I should go back and add a poster on the front of the store 
for the carnival being in town. That might be cool. Anyways, I need to go back and read what, what Chad has layered. Okay. I love that. JR, you and J. What? We got a Dallas reference and everything? Oh, that's cool. Tearing up, tearing up the bells of a hollow pumpkin in the fall. Smell of autumn crisp and earthy sitcoms with their obligatory haunt themed episodes and the taste of my Reese's on my taste of Reese's on my tongue. Fuck yeah, dude. Put the fucking thing right there on the TV and now it's gone. <laughs> One of the hamster cage ones. <laughs> hamster piss on his hands. Yeah, I'd already read this. I would 100%. Yeah. I'm invested as a reader now. Gonna be a lot of that. Yeah. I like that. Nine years old is maybe a little too old for believing the tooth fairy, but he needs it. I love that. Yeah, that's sexy. That's really yeah. sexy. Yeah, I have I haven't gotten too much farther than that, so <clears throat> damn, we got a significant fucking chapter for what we normally do. That is very good. Alright, and yeah, um all the stuff at the I mean we could easily do ten page chapters, at least in a rough manuscript form. Um, not that I have, not that I'm saying we need to shoot for that, but, uh, yeah, I think with us together, it's not going to be any problem to, to pat, to pad this out interestingly and not just, you know, load it with filler. Um, we already got, well, I know we got a lot of other stuff written here, but we already got 4675, um, words and I would say what we have here is about 2000. I don't know if we can check. I can always copy and paste and throw it in a word. I, I, we have <clears throat> we have uh, um, 
1150 words in notes gotcha uh, down at the bottom so uh looks like we got maybe 36 30 yeah so we got like 34 3500 yeah cool written. i knew it was over 2000 uh let's see here um yeah i moved this later scene i added this this later scene so i can get rid of that and then we just have your later scene that you want to use so yeah it's good sorry my wife was my wife oh you're fine dude Did like have milk there gonna interrupt it's not even a really an interruption because i think i think i'm good for the day oh, I didn't see it if you want to keep going i just need a break yeah. Oh, I got four Milky Ways. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Oh, all right. Um, all right. If you want to do more, like if you want to layer or whatever, um, I think I'm good for as far as output today. Uh, but uh, if you want to do more, then all I need is a break. Um, unless you want to go ahead and call it for today, and I gotta, I gotta get lunch in. I mean, if you want to do another one later, to, so that we can knock more of this out, I can do that. But all right, um, I'm I'm free the rest of the day. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, also, uh, are we doing tomorrow? I don't have shit on my plate for tomorrow. I'm doing the. Um... What's that? Paper cuts? But that's not till eight. Right. Um, so, I mean, if you so, want to yeah. do it tomorrow morning, I'm completely fine with that. Uh, the only other day I can't do would be Sunday. I don't I don't like streaming twice on Sundays. Um, I did it this last one because I really wanted to get start, started with this project. But, uh, yeah, so, Sunday afternoons are usually my chill time before game night. Uh, so, I would say Sunday is probably the only day that I won't be able to do it i don't have any other appointments or anything until september okay. so uh but yeah uh i will be in contact with you text through text um and we can decide whether or not we want to do something later on but tentatively right now i'm 100 percent fine but i don't know how my back is going to act in the next couple hours so mm -hmm. uh um i'll be in contact with you then but yeah uh anybody got any questions or anything before we go just want to check in with you guys I know there's a lot of you actually working while we're working. So I'll give it a minute to see if they got any questions or any comments. <clears throat> you ever had a, uh, the listing for Foster Home Supplies on Goodread is now this, this, the version from Spain with the cover from Spain. And I don't. Oh, the first one that pops up? Uh, you're welcome, Viking. Well, the, at least the ones when I go to my author dashboard and I look at my books, it's mm -hmm. just uh, it's the yeah, it's just the Spanish version. De, Hoga de Hogueres de Acogueda y Moscas. I I don't know uh, the, I don't know how that works, um, but I do know librarian pals. If you want to get that changed, um, yeah. they can they might be able to figure it out. But uh, um, usually what happens what i've seen to, to the detriment of the books i feel is that the very first cover you upload is the one i'm not saying this happened with yours I, mm -hmm. i'm finding what you're saying here weird because i've never seen it happen um but uh i i i hate that the cover for bay's end that shows up first is the very first cover that i never actually used mm -hmm. for the book like it was never available in that black thing with the candle or the match on it yeah. Uh, I never was that ever used uh, that I just uploaded that to Goodreads while it was still in editing and someone else was working on a cover and I thought I could go back at any point in time and change it and I couldn't. So um, I got stuck with that image uh, showing up. There's and a way you can, you, there's a way you can, it'll, it'll always stay on there, but there's a way that you can go in and change the cover to like, you want this one to show, but I don't know if it's just, if it only changes it for you, if it changes it for everybody else, but this is the whole title and everything. And I don't know. That's crazy. I also, 
I also noticed that that Goodreads, um, the the way that they have their like, if you go to your author dashboard and you click through, I think I've got like 15 pages of either books that I've written or that I'm in or whatever that have my name listed, and they have stuff in the first couple pages that that like has zero ratings or from like an antho or something like that. I don't know. There's no like popularity to them or or uh, relevancy whatsoever. So there used to sort of be, and I noticed when I would have a new release, it would start in page four or five or so, and then it would end up on like, you know, as it got more attention and more yeah. uh, ratings. Now it's freaking all over the place. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how their algorithm works in, in that way uh, whatsoever. It makes absolutely no fucking sense. When I was doing Cruelty as serial episodes, for the longest time, the very first book that popped up was Cruelty Episode 4. Uh, it was the very first thing on my list of books, and it had nothing, like you said, it has nothing to do with popularity, rankings, yeah. ratings, any of that stuff, or the amount of reviews, and it wasn't even the newest thing. But for mm -hmm. a while there, when you search, searched me up, the very first book was Cruelty Episode 4, and it was funny because that one episode <laughs> sold quite a bit um, because it was the first one on there. I don't know why people would go out and just buy Episode 4, but uh, anyways, it was that was the one so it does help if you manage to get a book that you need to sell up there at the top it does help but when it's the the fourth fourth book in a 10 uh no novelette uh <laughs> series it's ridiculous yeah anyways yep. oh yeah okay so i am happy with what we got done uh we got we finished at yeah and i gotta go i gotta go through i haven't because I'm in the mindset, I was, you know, still in from the beginning, so I haven't mm -hmm. read a whole lot of what you've written yet. Well, you're fine. I'm sure you're going to change quite a bit of it, um, and I'm perfectly fine with all that. Uh, and I like the way you layered layered yourself. So just have fun layering my stuff too. And if you want to put in more of that, uh, the references to like his past and whatnot, that that's really cool. like mentioning mom and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's really cool. Where the where the good sounds and the bad sounds and these things come from in his head. I do like the uh, the way you you d described that right up front. So, all right, man. Um, well, I will be in contact later on uh, today. Uh, I will text you. But everyone, thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah. This is a blast, just like all the rest of them. Uh, I think I want to keep this pretty much to like two hour sessions. Like even if we did go over to you know to start another one, um, mm -hmm. just because it's it's easy. I don't I don't know. It just feels good between an hour and two hours. Uh, also, that's pretty much all my back can handle these days. But uh, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow, same time, uh, all that, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, 10 p.m., 10 a.m. Eastern, sorry. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining us. And until next time, all hail the chair.